Hi, teacher. Oh, hi, Vidi. You look a little... You look a little... fatter? What? No! No! I, you sound like my mom. This is the honey season. And I, I think I ate just a little. See? I, I, I think I look the same, just like yesterday. Right? Well, your mass has increased, but still you. Of course, it's still me. Well, do you know that atoms can gain mass as well? Meaning an atom may gain more atomic mass, but it's still the same atom. Uh, okay, hang on, hang on. Uh, uh, let me think. Hmm, okay. The atoms of every element has an atomic number and an atomic mass. The atomic number refers to the number of protons in that atom, while the atomic mass refers to the total number of protons and neutrons in that same atom. That's right. An element is unique because of its atomic number, meaning helium is a unique element because it contains two protons. Gold is a unique element because it contains 79 protons. And lead is a unique element because it contains 82 protons. Oh, uh, wait a minute. Oh, 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 my goodness. Since lead contains 82 protons while gold contains 79 protons, then if we can somehow remove three protons from lead, we will get Gold? Yes! <gasps> so, while members of the same element must have the same atomic number, members of the same element can have different atomic masses. So, uh, that simply means that members of the same element must have the same number of protons, but can have different numbers of neutrons. That's right, and we call them isotopes of an element. So, atoms with the same atomic number, but different mass numbers, are called isotopes. Hmm. Hmm. Th okay, okay, uh, there are real examples of isotopes. Yes, and let me give you an example. The vast majority of hydrogen have a mass number of 1. This means that almost all the hydrogen atoms that exist contain one proton and no neutrons. However, there is a very small number of hydrogen atoms that have a mass number of 2. This means that it contains one proton and one neutron. Scientists can even artificially create a hydrogen atom with a mass number of 3 meaning one proton and two neutrons. Since there are three members of the hydrogen element, these three atoms are all isotopes of hydrogen. Mmm, that's amazing. A real example of gaining mass, but yet still being the same element. Indeed.